I wanted to jump into some of the eco questions that you guys have been asking. Originally when we bought this house, we weren't planning on doing a huge renovation. We were gonna do some small things, some bathrooms, whatnot. The house was already beautiful, but it just needed some updating. The engineer reached out to us and said, hey, looking at all of this, there's no earthquake proofing in this home. You're gonna to have to open 80 walls and do strong walls and tie downs and all this kind of stuff, which meant almost every wall in the entire house had to be opened. So at that point in time, we were like, well, then maybe we should look at the electrical and plumbing, the insulation, maybe we should look at all these things and upgrade everything. And while we're at it, maybe we wanna add some cool tech. And then I was like, well, while we're at it, maybe let's raise the roof on the second story because it was really low, it was less than eight feet. And we're like, well, while we're at it, Let's just do everything. And so that's how it kind of grew into this massive renovation that was not only for updating the finishes, but it was also for making it super eco-friendly. Um, anybody in the building industry knows what LEED certification is. It's kind of the pinnacle um, you know, calculation of how green a building is. Uh, we came in so far over what our platinum certification status would be that this truly is the ultimate green home. Um, I think it'll actually use less grid energy than probably a small apartment. That's how green it is. And so I love the fact that we've got everything from, you know, the, the solar to the storage to the insulation. So I'm going to jump in, answer some, some fan questions, but I'm really going to nerd out because I love talking about the eco stuff. Melissa is asking, what cool tech is inside your home? Uh, what cool tech is not inside this home? We, we tried to include a little bit of everything. Um, I think one of the coolest things is the span panel. So no one really thinks about their electrical panel, but it's the hub in your home where every single electrical circuit in your home goes to that panel. And that panel hasn't really been changed or updated in the last hundred years. So we have span panels. This is an AI technology that runs all of the circuits in your home. There are a lot of like random benefits like, you know, if you forget a hair curler on, which I do all the time, uh, and you're already away, you don't have to come back to the house, you can shut off every single circuit from your phone. Um, or in our situation, if the kids turn the light on in the middle of the night and they're like doing something in the room, guess what? Boom, no power, I can turn the lights out. I can turn individual circuits out so they plug something in. Um, <clears throat> so no devices. Uh, also, if you have an appliance that is about to fail, this AI will monitor it and tell you, hey, that motor's using more energy than it should be. That means it's probably gonna fail. You might wanna get it serviced. And we're also future-proof too, because you know, with everybody getting EVs, well now, this span panel has two-way communication. So if there was a power outage and our battery backup wasn't enough, we could go out with our EV, we could fill it up, charge it up, get back to the house, power the house off of the EV. So tons of cool stuff like that. Katie is asking what an unexpected eco solution is in the home. Um, I would have to say the paint. We specifically chose Sherwin-Williams Super Paint throughout the house because there's zero VOCs and VOCs are very important for us to think about because especially in the kids' bedrooms, we want to make sure that there is a really great air quality. Um, and you know, their Super Paint, well it looks great and we wanted something that's durable, but that zero VOC calculation is just incredible. I do think in the future of our homes, there's gonna be a real push toward the importance of air quality and water quality. And so this is the first step to make sure that anything that's emitting VOCs into the room um, is, is cleared out. In fact, there's technology in, in Sherwin-Williams Super Paint that actually absorbs a lot of the VOCs from the air. So I think that's pretty cool too, that it's got that kind of technology built into it. Also, talking about water filtration, we did a Connecticut whole home system to filter all the water in the house. Um, before we moved in to this area, I talked to some of the neighbors and they told me that the water can be hard sometimes and that's not great for your plumbing fixtures or for people. So um, we did the whole home water filtration system. That makes it a lot more comfortable when you're showering, any of the water that you're getting. But we also put the reverse osmosis spouts at every single sink. So the drinking water has extra filtration and the minerals added back into it.
A lot of people were asking questions about water conservation. Eric, for example, was asking, what are we doing with the outdoor spaces for our landscaping? Um, we are doing a lot, actually, to conserve water because it is a big property. Um, Hunter Industries has all of their irrigation system going in, and there's really cool stuff that a lot of people I don't think even know about. You've heard before about the sensors so that if it's raining, you're not going to have your watering system come on outside because it's a waste of water. They've taken it a step further, so they actually tie in to local weather systems, so they monitor weather systems. That way, if it's going to rain even tomorrow, it won't water everything today because it knows it's going to get the water tomorrow. So I love the fact that this is really smart technology that's going to substantially reduce the amount of water it takes for irrigation. Um, we also have a whole home gray water reclamation system, so any of the water that comes out of our showers, out of our sinks, out of our laundry, that all gets filtered to the point where it's essentially like drinking water again and we use that to um, either irrigate our large trees um, or use it for our toilets and things like that. So all of these systems help us reduce the overall water consumption, um, but also making sure that it's drip irrigation around the whole yard. We don't need to have um, you know, any overwatering at all. I think the great thing, you know, with the hunter system that we're putting in is it's using the base minimum of what you need and then it's predicting that we, uh, weather patterns so that we don't have to overwater. We also have an incredible system with ADT who not only does all the security, but they also monitor for leak detection. So we, we've got leak detection sensors throughout, so if there ever was a leak, it wouldn't cause any flood damage. We can shut it all off. We also have all the smoke and carbon monoxide detection so we can catch if there's an issue real early on. All of these things, you know, we again tried to make the house feel old and authentic, but we've incorporated everything like the sprinkler system and even integrating into a lot of our storage in order to get the HVAC system to be properly balanced, we had to hide a lot of things like returns. So the cabinet on the far right, the reason I chose grills on all these doors is because that's actually a fake cabinet on the right. That's a cold air return. So that takes all the air back to the furnace and then it filters it back out as cool air. So hiding the cold air return in that cabinet on the right means aesthetically nobody sees it, nobody even knows it's there, but it gives us the proper balance so that the humidity is right in the home. Everything is you know, just the way that it should be. And so I like that. You would never know that a lot of these things are happening, but they are integrated. Angela and Bobby said that they watched my documentary, Jonathan Scott's Power Trip, so thank you for watching that. And they're asking if I'm doing any solar. Yes, as a matter of fact, we have Tesla's solar roof tiles on the house. Um, in fact, we have one of the largest systems they've ever installed of that. A 38 kilowatt hour system, which is incredible. And we also have a ton of battery backup, so we will be able to produce pretty much all of our own power power and store our own power, which is more resilient too, because if there is a power outage, we'll have enough to last beyond that. And it also looks great. Because this is a historic home, we wanted something that looked as similar to the traditional slate tiles that you would have seen on this house. That is kind of scratching the surface of the tech we have in the home that is eco-friendly. I love the fact that it's almost like gamifying being eco-friendly because you can monitor your power usage, where your energy is going. Uh, post more questions about that stuff if you have them on Instagram. I'm gonna continue posting more videos every day, so stay around.